everybody. So today I'm going to be bringing you this video explaining how to transition bosses and skip phases. Um, I'll explain this because this is how we do it in our speedruns and uh, how I've been doing it in some of my videos recently. Um, I've been made aware that it's not quite obvious of how we do exactly what we do in our runs. It just looks fast and does a lot of damage on screen. So uh, to start with, I'll have to explain on what a phasing is on a boss. So when a boss has four health bars, like armor or arctic gear, these will be the examples I present in the background. Um, when you remove one of these health bars, they will drop any currently active status effect and turn gold. This will indicate that they are in a period where they cannot receive any more status effects, um, as well as they will try to enter the next phase. If they successfully enter the next phase, they will turn immune to damage for a period of time whilst they perform their new attack of the phase. Uh, this is unfortunate and um, very inconvenient to us as it slows down the pace of the run as well as just make fights longer in general. So to skip this, we have to time our crowd control abilities like Petrify or Freeze, as you'll see on Shuri in the background, with the animation of an attack of a boss. So if a boss begins an attack animation and we then Petrify it, um, when it comes out of that Petrify, it will continue the attack animation. Well, if we break the health bar on the boss, it will um, remove the status effect and begin trying to transition. But if it's already in this attack animation, it's forced to finish this attack animation before it begins its next animation. These are key to be skipping phases because what will end up happening is it will drop the animation, uh, it will drop the status effect, sorry, turn gold, be immune to statuses whilst it's in that gold phase but still being able to be damaged. Uh, the gold phase will end whilst it's still in its attack animation, and then you can reapply the CC. And you'll see you'll see this again in the Sandman clip in a minute. Um, every boss has its own tell, be it visual or sounds. Uh, Medusa is a very sound cue or, or uh, oriented fight, um, so it's a little bit trickier. But after a while of understanding patterns and knowing what to look for, it will um, become easier and something that becomes very valuable once mastered. You can really cut down time in your runs, as well as just make some fights that are usually difficult a lot easier. Um, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, as well as just comment in the uh, description below um, what other type of videos you would like to see, as well as other information that you might want to know. Uh, I'm going to be making videos covering as much as I can on the game, uh, be it systems or build guides or even just general mechanics. Uh, thank you very much for watching.